Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. If you're new, I'm Sarah and I'm in the first few months of my diamond painting career and I'm loving it. So today's video is going to be super, super fun. We are going to be looking at what I got for Christmas for diamond painting. This is like the main thing that I wanted this year because I just found it about a month ago and I'm obsessed <laughs> would be like an understatement I think. Um, so pretty much what I wanted this year was diamond painting stuff so I've got some fun kits to share with you and I've got some fun accessories to share with you. So just a little disclaimer, some of this stuff I bought myself, most of the kits I bought myself, <laughs> um, but I thought I would just save everything and show you at one time. Uh oh, phone's falling. You got to see my cute cat shirt. <laughs> um, so a lot of the stuff I bought myself, some of it I got for Christmas, a lot of the accessories I got for Christmas, um, but I'll explain each thing and where I got it once I go over it. But I wanted you to see my face before I showed you all of the things. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is show kits this way so you guys can see the pictures that I show you. Um, Cause I'm not gonna unbox them today. Those will be separate videos once I get to the kits, but I wanna be able to put them away. So I'm gonna show you kits and then I will um, turn the camera to show you accessories. So um, once again, I'm Sarah, if you're new here and if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another video. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in to what kits I got. So here's the first one. It's a big one, and it is a mystery kit. So this kit came from my sister, um, and it is the Mystery Landscape, and it's by uh, Image World. It's this one right here, and I can't remember what the number is, but it's a pretty, it's a big one. I want to say, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I'll put everything down in the description, though, so you guys know what I got in case you're interested and you want to get one. Um, so I will double check and put that down there. But of course, square diamonds, that's pretty much what I like to use. I haven't ventured into circles yet, but I will eventually. I just, I don't know. Square is just like cross stitch to me. So I like, I like that a lot. So this is going to be my first one. It's my first mystery. So I'm super duper excited. Um, if you've done this one, please don't spoil it, but tell me if you've enjoyed it. So that's going to be the first one. Hopefully it won't fall. <laughs> okay. Um... This one, <laughs> I, uh, I can't believe I got it. <laughs> so I wasn't diamond painting yet when Black Friday and Cyber Monday happened. So I missed all of the releases <laughs> by like a week. So I talked to some people and they were like, Sarah, that stuff's not going to come back in stock for like a long time. Um, they were talking like they saw six months and all the things. And I was like, oh no. Um, but if you watch my videos, you know I'm a teacher. Um, I'm actually a special education teacher and I showed some of my kids this picture and I was like, you guys, we have to put this in our classroom and they were uh, all about it. So um, it actually came back in stock for like two seconds <laughs> and I sprinted. I was on the phone with my mom and I was like, I'm gonna have to call you back. <laughs> um, but I got it and it's self portrait. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So this is by Dakota Dat, Date, Date Wilder, Date Wilder. I'm probably saying that completely wrong, <laughs> but it's self-portrait and it again will be down below. Oh, that's a better picture. She's reading a book and it's like all the different stuff that comes out of the book. I think it'd be a great conversation piece and encourage reading. So this will be going in my classroom and I may even start it before I finish my other one. I'd love to get it in my classroom as soon as possible. So uh, I was so excited about that one when it came back in stock. I even ordered it without ordering a second because I was trying to get the Jewel Kitty and it sold out while I was checking out. So that sucks. <laughs> um, okay, the next we have, oh, and let me just check. Okay, I did buy that one for myself. Okay, then we have Reflections on Country Living, which is a square kit. And I got this one um, from a D stash site. So pretty. And it's Chuck Pinson, which I'm coming to find I love. I just love his art. And I really like how Diamond Art Club um, uses his art. So I know there's another word I'm trying. Renders, that's the word I'm looking for. The way they render his art. So I'm really looking forward to using that. And again, square diamonds and this is a 28 by 22 
think I forgot to say the size on this other one because I was freaking out about it. Self-portrait is 22 by 33. So that one's pretty tall. All right. Next. <laughs> okay, we've got the Kraken 2 by Dakota Datweiler, which, haha, <laughs> funny. She's the same one that does self-portrait, so evidently I'm a fan of her as well. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. But this one looks just like that. It's a big one though. This is a 42.5 by 25.6. This sucker is humongous. I have been eyeballing this um, pretty much since the first day I was on the website, <laughs> but um, I've been kind of waiting. So I actually added this to an order for the next one I'm going to show you when it came back in stock, but I'm so happy I got this. Um, I really like it, but fun fact, I'm actually terrified of open water that I can't see the bottom of. So kind of funny that I like this better, but I definitely do. Um, and I think it's, you know, I think that's what's lurking in like pawns. <laughs> I just don't like when I can't see the bottom, but, but you know, this could happen to me if I go in the ocean. So yes. <laughs> So there's that one. All right. Uh, and I bought that one myself as well. <laughs> okay. Um, then we've got Betrayal. This was on my wish list. And this was another one of those. It messaged me. And it was, I think it was like the middle of the day. It was like 1.33 or something, if I'm right. And it came back in stock. And I was like, I stop everything you're doing. <laughs> um, so this is by Mario Sanchez Nevada. Nevada? Nevado? Look at this. This doesn't do it justice. You might have to look online. So this is like, on the gun, is actually like a city. And then this is Mother Nature. So the city is trying to kill Mother Nature. I think this piece is gorgeous. It's humongous. And I think it's a really awesome talking piece. Um, I'm a country girl, so I'm, I believe that this is accurate. <laughs> so. Um, this is a 27.6 by 27.6, so it's perfect square. So that's 70 centimeters by 70 centimeters. Um, and of course, square, they're all square. <laughs> uh, and, I, and it's beautiful. And I saw some awesome comments. I think it's confetti heavy though, based on what I saw online. I saw a lot of people saying it just took them forever, but it was awesome once it was done. So I think probably some of this is gonna be tedious. I might need to break it up a little bit, but that's fine. I'll just do that when I grid. Okay, one more kit to go over. Here we go. So this one my mamaw got me, which is so fun. It has like a little bit of a story behind it. So this one is Reflections, and it has a little covered bridge there. Um, and my grandparents and I, for 10 years, went to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And on the first time we went, we, um, well, we found this man <laughs> and he took us to a covered bridge. I thought he was going to kill us, but he didn't. So that's good. But I even called my dad and I was like, if I don't call you in 20 minutes, call the police because Mamma and Papa lost their minds. But he actually just took us to a really nice covered bridge. Um, <laughs> so she got me this one and I love it. So this one is by John Sloan. And it is a 28 by 22 or 71 centimeters by 56 centimeters. So those are all Diamond Art Club kits. And as I said, they will be down in the description box below. So you click on the links if you're interested in purchasing them. And if you do purchase them or you're working on them, please tell me. I'd love to know and we could do them together, which would be super fun. Um, okay, so give me just a second. And I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll show you the other stuff we've got. Alrighty, so welcome back. <laughs> um, this is the Enfia's kitchen table that I film almost everything at. And today we're going to talk about the exciting accessories that I got. Most of these I tried desperately to keep in the package, but um, one of them I did set up because I just couldn't contain myself. Um, so the first thing I got was the five tip set, the metal set to go on my Diamond Art Club pen. So I added these to an order so that I would get free shipping. It was like you know, do I want to pay $10 for shipping or get these? So I just added it to an order, but I'm really excited about them. They have a seven placer, two singles, a four, and then um, the flattener for the square drills. 
So I'm really excited about a straightener is what it's actually called. Um, so I'm really excited about those and we'll just try them out and see, but I definitely want to try the single placer. I think that'll be super nice and the straightener. Okay. So speaking of pens, I did get a new pen to try out and it's a little tricky to get this. Oh no, I lied. Never mind. <laughs> um, so these little waxes that it came with keep popping out here. Okay. So this pen is beautiful and it's from Amazon. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? And it's so comfortable in your hand. It's so comfy. Okay, so it comes with tips as well and a straightener. So it comes with a nine placer, two singles, we have an angled and a straight. Here is the six placer. Three placer, which I think will come in super handy. And it also comes with a straightener and this straightener is super thin. I really, really like that. So I'm gonna crack open this um, box from Diamond Art Club. Maybe if I can get into it. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna compare the um, thickness of these because I have seen some stuff online about the differences and rather they are good or bad. So let's see. I have a six, a nine, and a three. Okay, good. So these are like different sizes. So I guess I'll go with the seven and maybe the six. So let's look at the difference and width here. It looks like to me that these are smaller and these are just a hair thicker. I hope you're able to see that okay. So here's the difference. So it looks like the rose gold ones are a little tiny bit thinner. So depending on what you're looking for, and once I use these, I'll be sure to do a little bit of a review to kind of let you guys know what I think of them. Um, I know a lot of us have multiple pins and that kind of stuff and we kind of collect them, but I know <laughs> my cat's coming over here. He missed us when we were gone. And um, I know that can be, you know, something that we kind of look at. I haven't used the angled ones before, so I'm kind of excited to try that. So I think I'm gonna put the angled on here and, um, hmm. let's do the three. I think that'll be a nice one to have. What I'm probably gonna do is put different size tips on my two pins and use this one and my Diamond Art Club one. But I think the three tip will be really nice. Look how pretty, oh my goodness. And then it did come with a whole little stack, six different wax, six waxes. So in case you're running low on those, now you're not. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put all this stuff away as soon as I'm done filming. So I'm just gonna move it right out of the way for now. Okay, the next item we got is a roller so that I can roll over my square drills and make sure that they're all sticking and laying flat. So I'm really excited about this and I will probably lightly roll over my canvas that I already have mounted just to make sure that they're all stuck properly. I think that's super important. Okay, next item, I haven't even put batteries in yet, but um, at first I thought, why would you need that? And now I'm like, oh my goodness, I need that so badly. <laughs> it's a little vacuum cleaner for your drills because, oh my goodness, um, my drills just get everywhere. And this is supposed to pick them up like off your table or potentially off your carpet as well. But um, I honestly will probably just vacuum them up with my vacuum cleaner <laughs> uh, if they fall on the floor. But it also comes randomly with a funnel. I guess maybe this is just a funnel to put them back in your, oh, well, the funnel's ripped, so that's probably not gonna um, do very good. Let me see if I can just take that piece off. Well, it ripped a literal perfect circle, so I can probably still use that. Oh my gosh, it's ripped right here too. Okay guys, so the random funnel that it comes with, probably not the best of quality, because <laughs> it's already ripping, that's not great. Okay, <laughs> hopefully this is better. Um, let's, whoa, let's be hopeful there. Okay, 
let's take a look at this. We've got, I haven't even looked at it yet. I got it for Christmas and I was like, hold everything. I need to save this for my video. Oh, sorry, I did not mean to just kick you, my bad. All right, so let's take a look at this and see what we've got here. Do, do, do. Disconnect the power supply. What's the power supply? Oh, battery holder, got it. So I wonder how six. Gonna have to fiddle to figure out how to take the top off this. I'm sure you twist it, but I don't wanna twist it too hard. And I wonder if this goes right here. You could probably just, oh, that probably is exactly what that is actually. Let me just look at the instructions before I mess something up here. Um, disconnect the power supply. Might have to look at a video for this. I think it'll be great though. I think it's gonna be real good once I can actually use it and figure out how to, oh. All right, wait a minute. It looks like that this needs to line up. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so this is how the bottom comes off. Your drills will be right in here. And maybe, yeah, this comes out. With nails, this is difficult. <laughs> There we go. Look at that, okay. Look, okay, so that'll be your little fan there. And somehow you untwist or take this out to get the batteries out. Not sure. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to use the instructions. So it looks like the fan leaf and oh here we go so this is going to come off like this I'm gonna have to get Nathan to do it though because I don't, um, I can't get a good grip on it. So I'm gonna have to have him do that. <laughs> but that's how it works. So awesome. I'm really excited about that. That's gonna be awesome. So I won't put it all the way back together, but uh, that's gonna be great. So I've got that little vacuum cleaner. That was, that was an extended uh, look over there. All right. Dun 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 dun. The infamous, oh look, another funnel. <laughs> and also some stickers, a few of them got messed up in shipping, that's okay. These things are in here snug, which is good. <laughs> but, I didn't wanna show you the side of the box, it would spoil it. The Infinis Tic Tac containers. <laughs> Look at that. So I think this is looking at the box. I'm pretty sure this is the 100 and it doesn't say. I, one of the pieces says 144 and I'm pretty sure that's how many there are. Um, Look at that. And it comes with the little labels to put on top, but they're just little containers like this. And they're little Tic Tac containers. And you just use them to store your diamonds. So I'm not totally sure. I think I'm gonna use these to store my extra diamonds. I think that's gonna be my plan. Um, I don't know. I haven't 100% decided yet because I didn't know what I was gonna get. So I wasn't, you know, too for sure. But so far all my kids are Diamond Art Club. So if they're all Diamond Art Club, then I'll definitely keep those extra diamonds because you never know when you might drop some on the floor 
or you know something like that so we do have the awesome tic tac containers which is so, so fun and they look so nice i love that diamond painting tray so I'm super duper excited about this so this is going to be for when I'm actively working on a project I can have different trays the only thing I'm gonna have to be careful about is labeling them if they're not super different colors because I don't want to get them like confused so this just has 12 different slots so I can have um, lots of different drills out if I'm doing confetti particularly so I'm gonna leave this out while I show you the next one. The next one is the dun, 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 case. Oh my goodness gracious. This case, I'm so excited. I think I squealed when I opened it up. Oh gosh, stuff's falling out of it. <laughs> so this, I couldn't wait on. I um, started working on this at my parents' house for my current project and um, Yes, so I started working on it and I was working on it with my stick with my labels that aren't great Unfortunately, so they're starting to pop off just a little bit after the long travel that we had but These bottles are so stinking cute. So I've got One set on top One set on the bottom And it's a hard case, which is awesome and there are, I, I think it's 60, but let me just check one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, there are 60 on top, 60 on bottom, so 120 in total. And then a lot of this stuff I put in here, but there are some things that it came with. One of which is exciting, so I'm going to show those to you. This is mine, and so is this exactly mine. But it came with two little green trays and one huge tray. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge as compared to the little green ones. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this, especially if I'm doing big projects and I have a couple of those coming up. It also came with numerous pins with different uh, multi-placers on them and they are pretty thick, pretty thick pieces. So let's go over them. Um, I don't, see the numbers on here that maybe looks like a three placer and a one placer this is a one and maybe a six just guessing and those are the same so this is another one and a six I think and then this is probably a nine and a one Oops. so it came with all four of those which is handy my cat's getting into the stuff down here. <laughs> um, and then it came with a, uh, oh gosh, straightener, a straightener tool for your square drills. Came with a bunch of pads of wax. They're all split so you can just pull them apart. Of course, some baggies and labels to go on top of these right here. I just went ahead and use and kitted up my current project in here. So I did use the labels that Diamond Art Club gave me, but just to be honest, these are not these labels I've had issues with since I took them out. I don't know if it's just because it's an older kit or what, but they are not sticking very well at all. And I'm not really sure why, but that's okay. No big deal. So I'm just gonna put all this stuff in here. The rest of it is stuff that I've had. Um, and it did come with this as well just another little funnel so the rest of the stuff though is stuff that I've had so I'm not going to go through all of that uh, it's just stuff that I put in here last night when I was working on this at my parents house um, so I will get this all organized as soon as I'm done with this video and we only have one other thing to go over so I'm just going to scoot this stuff out of the way for now but I was going to show you I'm remembering now <laughs> I have my little containers 
and they can just sit right here. Or if you have bigger containers, it'll fit those too. But they're made to actually put your containers so that you can keep a hold of what you've got. So like if I had this blue and then I also had this orange, I obviously probably don't need to label them because I'm gonna know that they're different. But when you get this many, it could be really easy to mix them up and you don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna pause for just a moment to grab the last item I have to show you and then we will be done for today's video. All right, so this is the last item I purchased. Um, and I did get this myself. This is a brand new light pad. So let me explain to you this light pad because some of you may be interested in getting yourself one. Uh, so here we are, this is the front of it. And I will link this down below because to me it's well worth it. So I had a light pad before that I've been using. Um, I've had it for a couple years and my biggest issue with it is it was touched over here and my arm would graze it and it would cut it off and it would drive me bananas because you know our projects are usually bigger than this and so we'd sit it over top and I'd be like leaning and I'd cut it off constantly and it would drive me crazy. So this one actually if you hold these down it locks it. How cool is that? So that won't happen anymore. So that's super exciting. So it comes with the cord, you just plug your cord in plug into a USB and you are golden. It gets super bright and I'm really, really, really excited about it. Um, I'm looking to see, it does not have um, any particular information on there, um, but it is a 10 by 14. So really, really excited about that. It also has on the back, the little pads on the, on the bottom so that it doesn't move as easy. Love that. So yes, this is my last item to share with you guys. And it's got like a little bit of eraser dust on it. <laughs> um, and then it also of course came with this really nice dust bag, which I'm gonna think I'm gonna keep it in. So I am going to just turn the camera so you guys can see me. I am going to go ahead and jump off here and start getting my stuff all sorted out and put away because these diamond paintings in the middle of my floor is stressing me out. They need to go away. <laughs> um, yes, so I'm gonna get all stuff put away and then I'm gonna go work on my project. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for joining me. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Check the description box and I'll have all this stuff linked so that you guys can grab your own if you're interested. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, extra, extra, read all about it. Um, <laughs> this is a little extra little clip. We figured out how to use it. Nathan helped me. That might be too many. Um, <laughs> but I'm just gonna spread them out as you would if you maybe accidentally spilled your drills. And I'm gonna show you, he figured out how to get the battery in with zero issues. So on this, you're just gonna press the little start sign. You can hear it. Okay, so you can do it that way, or you can use the attachment, turn that on, and pick them up individually. Uh-oh, I spilled them. <laughs> Oops, I think I might have overloaded it a little. Let's just do it regular way and get those up. All right. 